Aloha everybody, welcome to Aloha Natty Yoga. I'm Natty and I'll be guiding you today in your yoga practice. So one thing I like to mention is just to make sure you listen to your body, whatever you need. Um, if you need a break, if you need to drink water, if you need to change postures, please do so. And I'm so glad you made it to the channel and I hope that you find some benefit in these yoga practices. If you love this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and to let anybody know about it. And in the meantime, get into something comfy, find your safe space, and I'll be meeting you there. See you there. Aloha. Okay, we made it on our mats. So glad you made it and that you're taking this time just for yourself to come into your practice. So we're going to start in an easy seat. You can sit on a block or a folded blanket or just simply on your mat. And taking a moment here to find that comfortable seat. And you can rest your hands on your knees, palms facing down or up. Maybe here you'd like to close the eyes and take a moment to allow yourself to settle beneath the sit bones. Find that sense of connection and grounding down beneath you to the earth. Nothing to do here but to just witness the breath. Witness your energy and your time, just taking your time here, settling in. Maybe now's the time to just take a really deep breath in and let it all out. <sighs> you can even do this a few times if, if you'd like to do that. Now take a moment to witness your thoughts, witness the sense in your body. How have you been feeling today? Are you sore anywhere? Are you dealing with injuries? And just find that sense of kindness and love wherever you're finding yourself at today. Take a breath in here and let it out. Slow and steady. Again, inhale. All the way up. And exhale. One more time here. Deep breath in. Maybe open your mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> Relax the shoulders down and away from the ears. Maybe roll them back and down a few times. Lengthen the spine by sending the shoulders right above the hips, reaching the sternum up towards the sky and the crown of the head towards the sky, lengthening the back of the neck and then roll the shoulders forward and down. Nice big circles here. Keep lengthening the spine, maybe here drawing the navel in just a little bit. And maybe settle back down the shoulders. Take a moment to witness yourself and your practice and what it is that you'd like to center yourself in today. Maybe an intention, 
Maybe witnessing a place in your body that needs your attention. Whatever it is for you now, take take a moment to to really honor yourself in that and follow through with that in your practice and maybe after the practice in your day. So take the right hand out directly parallel to the hip. Inhale, reach the left arm to the sky. Exhale, reach it overhead here. You can leverage yourself by pressing into that bottom hand, allowing the sit bones to ground down and then peel the top shoulder open, reaching the heart forward, opening this, the front body. Deep breath into the side ribs here. Nice seated side bend. Relaxing the shoulder blades down your back. And then reach the arm forward and all the way down on the mat next to the right hand. Inhale, reach the heart, and then exhale, fold in here. This goes deeper into the lower back and the left side of the body. Deep breath down into the pelvis. Inhale, sweep that left arm up and around again. We'll come back into center and then inhale, reach that right arm to the sky, planting the left hand down on the mat and then exhale, bend to the left. Deep breath here. Allow your sit bones to sink into the earth. Breathe into the right side ribs. And then exhale, reach that right arm to the side, looking to the side and then bring that right hand down and then fold in to the left. Keep breathing deep down into the pelvis. It's okay if your belly it's coming out, just allow anything to happen here without any judgment. You are just fine as you are. Inhale, reach the right arm up and down again, back to center. And then inhale, reach both arms to the sky. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms up and just allow yourself to reach, lengthening the spine, grounding down in the sit bones. And then exhale, release the grip, bring the hands down to the sides, and then reach the legs out in front of you. So grounding down in the sit bones, reaching the legs out. Just shake, shake, shake the legs here. Maybe point and flex the toes. And then inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Interlace the fingers, flip the palm up, palms up. Reach. Staff pose. Flex the toes towards you. You can keep a micro bend in the knees. And then exhale, reach forward and down. Fold in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come back up and reach. Exhale, fold. And stay here for three deep breaths here. Relax the neck. Breathe into the back of the legs, the hamstrings, the calves. Inhale. 
Inhale, come back up, bend the right knee, plant the foot on the outside of the left thigh. Plant the right hand behind you, inhale, reach the left arm to the sky, exhale, hook your forearm around your right knee, and for a seated twist. Take a deep breath in, lengthen and come out slightly, and then exhale with length, twist a little deeper. Deep belly breath. Inhale back to center, release the arms to the sky, release the leg. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up and reach. Exhale, fold. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Maybe here you can fold a little bit deeper. And then come up and the left knee, plant the foot on the outside of the right thigh. Bring your left hand to the lower back on the mat. Inhale, reach the right arm to the sky. Exhale, twist to the left, hooking your forearm on the outside of the left knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Deep breaths in your twist. I'm seeing so many bumblebees enjoying the prairie, the grassland, flowers. So quiet here, miles away from any road or highway. It's true silence and peace. Inhale, back to center, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, plant the hands behind you. Plant the feet, bending the knees. So the feet are about hip width apart. Fingers pointing towards your hips about shoulder width apart. We're gonna come into reverse tabletop. So inhale, press the hips to the sky. Open up the front body. Squeeze the glutes and the tailbone towards the heels. Open the neck. <sighs> Exhale, lower the hips down. Inhale, reach the chest to the sky. Nice little back bend here. And then exhale, press the hips to the sky again for reverse tabletop. Opening up the shoulders, the front body, and strengthening the lower back, the glutes. Feel all four corners of the feet planted into the mat. And then exhale, lower the hips down. Take a moment here to give yourself a seated hug, drawing the knees into the chest, giving yourself a hug here. And then bring the knees down, turn the shins to the side, and we'll come into a wide-legged child's pose. So open the knees, mat width apart, big toes to touch. Send your hips down into the heels. And here you have options. You can just bring your elbows down right beside the ears, lowering the forehead down and coming into reverse prayer. Or you can extend the arms out all the way. I'll take a moment to take really deep breaths deep down into the lower abdomen. Feel yourself grounding down in the forehead, grounding down in the knees, the shins and the ankles and the hip joints. Breathe in the back of the of the ba of the body. So send the breath around the spine, the muscles along the spine. And then press yourself up. Bring yourself back towards the back of the mat a little bit. 
the knees staying underneath the hips. Reach the arms forward for puppy pose. Forehead can come down on the mat. The chest and the chin can come down on the mat if you want to go there. Feel all ten fingers, the knuckles, the palms pressing into the mat. Feel the top of the feet pressing into the mat. Feel your hips reaching up and back as the navel draws in towards the spine. Deep breaths. back underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we'll do a few cat cows here. You can tuck the toes underneath the, uh, the heels if, if you'd like. So inhale, reach the heart, threading it through the shoulders, tailbone up, opening the throat. Exhale, rounding the back, drawing the navel into the spine, tucking the chin in, and pressing out of all ten fingers, protracting the shoulder blades. Inhale, up. Exhale, round. Go with your own rhythm. You can even organically move the hips side to side if you need. And then come back to a neutral spine. Bring, untuck the toes if they were tucked. Bring the left, right hand behind the head. Inhale, open to the right, bringing the elbow to the sky. Exhale, touch the elbow down in front of you. Inhale, open, twist to the right. Exhale, tap. Inhale, twist. Exhale, tap. Inhale, twist. Press up on the knees. Open your arms out into a T. Drop the right hand behind you. Reach the left arm back as you press the hip bones forward. Inhale back into a twist with your arms out into a T. Bring the right hand behind the head. Lower the left hand down. Tap the elbow. Inhale, open twist. Exhale, lower that hand down. We'll do that on the other side. Left hand behind head. Inhale, elbow to the sky. Open to the left. Exhale, forward and tap down the elbow. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap. Inhale, open. Exhale, down and tap. Ready? Inhale, open. Reach the arm to the sky. Press yourself up into a twist. Arms parallel to the mat. Release the left arm down behind you, reaching the right arm back. Pressing the hips forward. You can even place the back hand on the lower back for support. Open the heart. Keep your throat and your heart chakra opened to the sky. Deep breaths. Inhale back to a twist. Arms out into a T. Bring the left hand behind you. Exhale, lower that. Right hand down, open twist. Exhale, tap the elbow down. <sighs> Inhale, open. Exhale, lower that hand down. Good. So we'll tuck the toes, send the hips back and up into your down dog. So take a moment here to find your down dog, pedaling the feet. 
lifting the hips up and back as you draw the navel up and in creating support for the lower back so you're activating the abdominals creating strength all in the core in the lower back as well allow your heart to reach towards the thighs relaxing the neck two deep breaths find stillness come back to your intention or what it is that you wanted to visit with yourself in your practice when you're ready reach the right arm back behind you three like a dog look forward and then reach the knee towards the nose send your weight forward step it between the hands lower the back knee low lunge stay low at first your your hands can even be on a block if you need that you can untuck the back toes and when you're ready bring the hands onto the thighs and then tuck the tailbone down draw the navel in and then bend the front knee deeper creating an opening in the left hip flexor inhale reach the arms overhead exhale grab onto the left wrist tug to the right opening all of the left side body bending the front knee a little deeper here keep lifting out of the hips open the heart to the sky inhale back to center plant the hands down shift your hips back you can even walk the front foot forward a little bit and then come into half splits flexing the toes towards you inhale walk forward bending the knee into low lunge exhale shifting it back into half splits move a few more times like this going as slow or as fast as you need notice the sensations in your hips in the back thigh and then when you find yourself back into half splits stay there you can even grab the outer edge of the right foot with your left hand and then pull yourself down a little deeper here keeping length in the spine reaching the heart forward sending both hips back and then release bend the knee slide that foot that right foot underneath the knee the right knee then the back hips underneath above the the knee so that you're in an L shape okay inhale hands to heart exhale we're going into a deeper twist so inhale lift exhale hook the left elbow on the outside of the right thigh you can come into a fist and wrap your top hand on the bottom fist leverage yourself by pressing your elbow into your thigh and your thigh into your elbow reaching the heart forward and twisting a little deeper feeling grounded in the front foot and the bottom back knee and leg the end shin feeling that twist happening in the mid spine and then look down release the twist plant your hands down tuck the back toes lift the back knee finding yourself in a high lunge but with your hands on your mat swaying forward and back on that left foot the ball of the left foot plant the left hand sweep that right arm to the sky into a twist here maybe rotate the top wrist in both directions 
And then lower that hand down, step it back into high plank. Drawing the navel in, feet hip width apart or together. And then shift yourself back into down dog. Inhale, the left leg behind you, three-legged dog. Exhale, sweep the knee into the nose. Step it between the hands, lower the back knee down. Low lunge, take a moment here to reach the heart forward. And you can untuck the back toes. And when you're ready, bring the hands to the thighs, the front thigh. Drawing the tailbone down towards your heel, drawing the navel up and in. When you're ready, bend the front knee deeper, lengthening the spine, opening the shoulders, keeping a length as you fold in to your low lunge here. Feeling that right hip flexor opening. Ooh, I can feel it. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, grab the right wrist with the left hand and tug it to the left. Oh. Deep breath in the right side. Strong back leg, glutes. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, plant the hands to the mat and shift your hips back for half splits. Inhale, bend the front knee, low lunge. Exhale, shift your hips back for half splits. Do this a few more times on your own. Witnessing how it feels in your body, maybe not good or bad, just witnessing the sensations that are coming through as you move. Come back to your heart and your dedication to your practice. And then when you find yourself back into half splits, stay here. Breathe, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. <sighs> the breeze is feeling so good. You can take that right hand, reach it around the knife edge of the left foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull yourself in, folding over that leg, keeping both hip bones pointing back. Release here, bend the front knee. And then here, walk that foot back underneath the knee so that both both legs are at a 90 degree angle. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, shift your weight forward, hooking that left elbow, that right elbow on the outside of the left thigh. Inhale, lengthen the heart to the front. You can make a fist with your lower hand, wrapping your right hand on top of the fist. And then exhale, twist deeper in the mid spine. Deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale, look down, lower the hands down, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee into a high lunge with your hands on your blocks or your mat, swaying forward and back on that ball of the back foot.
Come to stillness. Plant the right hand down. Inhale, sweep the left arm to the sky into a twist. Feel both feet really rooted down into the mat. Lift the back kneecap. And then lower that hand down. And lower the back knee down. And then release the left leg back. And then here, plant the hands underneath the shoulders fingers wide open, send the left leg back and the, and the right leg back into plank, and then exhale, shift your hips back for down dog. I'm going to do this a few more times here before we hold side plank. So maybe shift your hips side to side in your down dog. back to center. Inhale, roll yourself into high plank. Drawing the navel in. Strong back legs here. Lift the kneecaps. Press the heels back. Tailbone down towards the heels. Press out of the hands. Create space between the shoulder blades. Draw the navel in. Exhale, shift your hips back for down dog, lowering the heels down. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Bring the feet together. Plant the left hand underneath you. Shift onto a side plank. Drawing the right arm to the sky, you can you can stack the feet or have the right foot in front of the left. Option here to reach the top arm forward. Keeping the heart open, strong hips and legs and glutes. Look down, come back down to a high plank. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath here. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, high plank. Feet together. Plant the right hand underneath you. Turn to the left for side plank. Draw the navel in. Feel that plank being a really solid board in your body. Strength is happening here. Reaching the top arm forward, maybe, if you can go there. Strengthening the wrists, strengthening the abdominals, the legs, the shoulders. Look down, come back to your plank. Lower the knees down, lower all the way down to the chest. Hands by your ribs, untuck the toes, reach the toes. Inhale, baby cobra. As you draw the elbows towards the sides, reaching the heart forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down all the way. Untuck toes. Inhale, baby cobra. Strengthening the lower back. Lift the kneecaps, strong legs. Exhale, tabletop. Tuck the toes, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Reach the hips up and back here. Deep breaths. Walk the hands to the feet. Okay. If 
feet underneath the hips. Grabbing onto the elbows, coming into ragdoll. So you can bend your knees as little or as much as needed. Find where it feels most good to you and then fold in, relaxing the head, neck, swaying forward and back, side to side. Allow yourself to dangle, being pulled in to the earth's core by gravity. Inhale, half lift. So your hands are on your shins or a blocks or the mat. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, heel toe your feet out past your hips, toes pointing slightly out, sitting down into a deep squat in your malasana. So bringing a block maybe underneath the sit bones if you need that. Hands to prayer. Inside the thighs, the elbows and the top arms are pressing into the thighs and the thighs are pressing into the forearms. Lengthen the spine here. So drop the weight back into the heels and the outer edges of the feet. Feel your heart reaching up to the sky, pressing the hands into each other. Deep breaths here. And then plant the hands down, lift the hips up, heel till your feet back underneath your hips and fold. Grab onto the big toes with the peace fingers. Inhale, half lift, so lengthen and flatten the back. Pressing the big toes into the fingers, so your weight is into the, the, the feet, the toes. Exhale, bend the elbows, folding forward, keeping the legs straight, keeping the torso lengthened. Gorilla pose. Relax the neck. Feel the hamstrings really going deeper here. Release, bend the knees, inhale, come all the way up, reaching the arms to the sky. Interlace the fingers, point the index back for a little back bend here, pressing the pubic bone forward, squeezing the glutes slightly, feeling the heels planted into the earth. Lift with the sternum. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach arms. Exhale, fold in really slowly and mindfully here. Inhale, walk back to your down dog. And then exhale. Pedaling the feet again, finding stillness. And then maybe you'd like to walk the feet closer towards the hands. Take a, take a deep breath in. And then exhale. Take the left hand, wrap it around the right shin for a side twist in your down dog. Breathe into the side, the bottom side, body, towards the lower back. Inhale back to center. And we'll do the other side. Back to center. Come into a high plank, inhale, exhale, lower all the way down onto the belly, untuck the toes. 
If you have a towel or you need to modify or take some water, you can. Now we're going to come into Sphinx. So bring your forearms on the mat, palms facing down, open the fingers wide, elbows underneath the shoulders. Then inhale, reach the heart through the shoulders. So threading it through, feeling your forearms and your palms pressing down into the mat as you create strength in your side body, your lower back and your abdominals. Feel yourself here strengthening through the heart center, opening the throat and relaxing the jaw and the eyes. Five deep breaths here. Depending on where you are, you might be in a warmer climate or a colder climate. It might have a different effect on your body, and that's okay. Just witness your body and how it's feeling now in the practice. And then lower down, placing the right forearm on top of the left, lowering your forehead onto the top hand, bending the knees and swaying the shins side to side, rotating both ankles shaking the hips side to side moving however feels really good to you and then maybe rotating the ankles in the opposite direction lower the hand the legs down hands underneath the shoulders inhale back into a tabletop okay now walk yourself forward a bit lengthen the right leg back coming into a more challenging pose here and then when you're ready wrists underneath shoulders inhale lift that right leg parallel to the mat reach that heel back Bend that right knee, reach the left arm back, maybe grabbing the ankle and lifting the heart. Five deep breaths, nice deeper twist. And then with control, inhale, reach into bird to hog, reach out at both ends, and then exhale, lower down here. We'll do the other side. Reach that left leg back on the ball of the foot, swaying forward and back. Deep breaths into the chest. Notice what just happened in your body. I'm gonna do the other side, so inhale, Lift that back leg, strong glute, so hips parallel to each other, parallel to the mat. Bend the left knee, reach the right arm back, maybe grabbing onto the ankle or the foot. Lift, pressing the foot into the hand, opening the heart, five breaths. With control, inhale, reach the arm and the leg into bird dog. Drawing the navel in, strengthening the core. Exhale, lower down. Bringing the knees together, feet together, sit your hips back into the heels. For a child's pose here, maybe folding in, having your arms resting down along your sides, allowing the shoulders to roll forward. 
and then maybe shifting yourself side to side on your shins. Deep breath into the lower back. And then come back into a tabletop. Turn your shins to the right. Coming back into a seat. And then reach the legs forward. Shake, shake, shaking the legs. Hands behind your hips pointing, fingers pointing towards the hips. And we'll come into a reverse plank. So we'll point the toes, pressing into the palms, opening the chest, inhale, lift the hips. Breathe. Exhale, lower. Taking a moment. And we'll do this again. Plant the hands. Inhale. Point and lift. Squeezing the glutes. Legs together. Drawing the navel in. Feeling the strength. For five. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale, lower. Bringing the soles of the feet together, opening the knees, coming into Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Inhale, lengthen the chest and the spine towards the sky, holding on to the shins or around the feet. Exhale, fold as much as needed to start feeling that opening in the inner thighs and the groin. Deep breaths here. Sinking a little bit deeper with every exhalation, slowing it down. Revisiting your intention, finding presence with yourself in your practice, and that sense of letting go and just being now with yourself just as you are medicine, self-care, loving kindness towards yourself. And then if you want to reach your arms forward and fold in completely rounding in, you can do that as well. Send the energy, the energy of the breath, into the inner thighs. Notice that when you inhale deeply, it expands and creates space in the body. And then witness when you exhale, it allows for a deeper sense of opening, relaxation and ease, calming your nervous system. Inhale, walk yourself back to center. Bring the hands behind the knees. Close the knees in. Reach the legs forward. Inch yourself back and then lower down on the back. Take a moment. Inhale. And then exhale it out sinking the back body into the mat, drawing the knees into the chest, giving yourself a deep loving hug here. Sending the legs to the sky, arms to the sky, rotate the ankles and the wrists. And then find stillness 
and your waterfall. Allow the belly button to sink naturally towards the earth. Allow the back of the hips, the lower back to ground down in the mat. Tuck the chin in slightly here to lengthen and relax the back of the head and neck and shoulders. Bend the knees, grab onto the shins or the outer edges of the feet and find your happy baby if you'd like. Just swing side to side, opening the thighs, drawing the thighs down as you lengthen the back. So keep the chest and the back opened, pointing the tailbone down towards the mat, actively opening in to this pose. You can point and flex the toes. Breathe deeply into the lower belly. Whenever you're ready, bringing the feet together, the knees back together, lowering the feet down, extending the legs and the arms out, giving yourself a final big stretch here. Lengthen and reach, reach, reach. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And then exhale, finding your Shavasana. Settling all of the body down. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale. Thank you so much for joining me in your practice. Sending so much aloha. I hope that the rest of your day is peaceful, loving, and kind with yourself and others. Namaste.